What's up guys, Mr. Dan here back again with another 2B Tuesday review. This one should be short. I know I always say that, but there's really not a lot to this one, and I think I can sum it up rather quickly. Uh, the other day I watched the 2020 film Hunter's Moon on Tubi. Uh, this film starred uh, Thomas Jane and Jay Moore. Uh, there were some other familiar faces in it. Uh, Sean Pla Patrick Flannery was in it. Um, David uh, Labrava had a, a small role from uh, Sons of Anarchy. And I think he'll be at the Monster Mania convention here in Cherry Hill in uh, March. Um, and basically, this... I don't know. This just felt like a... a okay. So this is essentially a, a somewhat lower budgeted film. It appeared to be, you basically have the main cast as a family, um, husband and wife and three girls moving to a house in the country. And the one girl is a little bit wild. Uh, she runs into some bad characters, some kind of shady looking dudes in a convenience store and she gets a little flirty with them. And at one point there's a, a sheriff who, who kind of uh, warns them, played by Thomas Jane, who kind of warns them away from these guys. Um, and the back story is that they're moving into the house, that, a house that was owned by a serial killer, and, you know, nobody else wants it, and they're moving in there, and, yeah, there was a serial killer there, and he was a bad dude, and it's a famous local story, but there was also some mysterious things happening in uh, the woods and the orchard, the, the other original title or alternate title is The Orchard, I guess because they're surrounded by an orchard. Um, some some mysterious things were happening uh, that looked like it they could have been the work of a creature at some point. So that's kind of an intriguing idea. You know, you've got a serial killer, but there's also a creature outside, uh, possibly. So the family moves in, and the parents have to leave the kids behind when who should come calling but these creepy guys that have bad intentions and you know thomas jane shows up eventually he plays the sheriff and you know there's we find out about the connection to the creature lurking around and the you you know you guessed it the characters sort of have to unite even though they have their differences and uh, the thomas jane character has a bit of a uh, not a secret, but we're kind of surprised to find out uh, how he fits into everything. And, um, you know, I guess a mild spoiler, you do see a creature. It's very limited, and, I mean, if you saw a still photo of it, it would probably look okay, but they don't do a lot with it. Um, I don't think, you know, there was a lot of... Uh, that the creature that they came up with had the ability to move around a lot. Let's put it that way. You do get to see it. And they build it up okay, and it's a pretty good reveal. But it's very brief. And to me, it just wasn't quite worth the wait. The other thing is, uh, Thomas Jane, his character, boy, his accent was funny. I don't know what he was doing. I, I couldn't get into it. it. I thought it was distracting. Um, now, I thought one of the, one of the uh, sort of most underrated... Uh, films that not enough people talk about in the last few years was 1922 on Netflix, the Stephen King adaptation. And he was doing a like a regional accent in that that was pretty heavy. And, you know, I to the point where I could kind of see some people having a problem with it. I didn't have a problem with that in that film, with his accent in that film. Um, but in this film, I, I just, it just, I don't know. I had a problem with his character. Okay, so it turns out the family has a secret. Everybody, a lot of people have secrets, and you find out all the secrets at the end. And to me, it just wasn't quite worth the trip, the, <laughs> the ninety minutes or so uh, runtime. Um, so I would, I would, for me, this one's a pass. Pretty much, that's the review. And for once, as I did, I promised you, it would be short. That's my review of this one. This one is skippable, in my opinion. Okay, until next time, later.